Attention, attention, IPOB One Family. This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website, www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. That is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution. When it comes to keeping our people safe, every bit counts. After all, the security of our communities is our responsibility. Let's make this happen together. Mr. Bella once again. <laughs> Who is that? Kill it. Come on. Yeah. Huh. Save your friend who no last forever. They say happy up in no go stand. What did they know? What do they know? What do they see? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun. They love us on Biafra. Biafra. This is the time we need to come to bed and fight for what is being done to us. So get rid of money, get one day to work, make us a giant of Africa. I don't go to the nah to go. I'm bored, get rid of this now. I'm out for no. Hello, this is Abi Nigwe. I talk with wisdom, giving us somebody like Nam the Kalo for this our race to mission, 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 mission. Biafra will not last forever, forever. They say happy up in Augusta. Augusta. What do they know? What do they know? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. See you too for our hero. The force never stops. Mazin and the cano pot no phone we stop. We cannot stop. Be a family forever. Believe me. The 
that independence for Nigeria as a corporate entity is not enough. The peoples of Nigeria must at the same time be guaranteed their freedom. <laughs> we must ensure, we must ensure that in an independent Nigeria, individual citizens throughout the land enjoy liberty, human dignity and equality under the law. There must be one Nigeria with one constitution and one law for all. Let us therefore, Mr. Chairman, sir, close our ears to the Council of Despair, which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution. Looking at the development across the upper land. We want to be looking at the development across the upper land. And uh, it is time that everybody will understand that uh, where we are now, the era we are now, is very, very uh, important, very dangerous as well. And uh, we have seen a lot of images coming from all over the upper land. We've seen messages, we've seen images, we've seen videos coming all over the upper land of lockdown, autopiloted lockdown, autopilot. So now you will understand the autopilot. So remember, you must not accuse anybody. You must not accuse anybody. Don't speak of faith. You must understand that this is not disobeying. This is not, nobody is disobeying order. This is not disobeying order. This is also not any insubordination. You shouldn't even come at all. No, 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 no. This is the spirit of Yafra at work. This is the spirit of Yafra at work. And let me tell you, let me tell you, <laughs> the more you want to tell people what they should do. <laughs> the more you want to tell people what they should do, the more the spirit of Yafra possess and arrest them. It is autopiloted. Autopilot. We must seek the wisdom of God. Leadership of Yafra must seek the wisdom of God to be able to control what is to come. Because I am not a prophet of God. But believe me, believe me, 
as, as far as the struggle for Biafra is concerned, we are speaking, we are speaking the mind of the God. We are speaking the mind of the God. The warning has come earlier than now. We have given the warning, we have given, we have alerted Biafra, we have alerted the leadership of Biafra, and we say that what we are now is what we call the autopilot of the struggle for Biafra. Even me, I did not go to work. At least I will still go to work today, but I did not go to work. You see, I didn't go to work yet. And uh, and uh, so it is a uh, it is it is something that already is happening, and there is nothing anybody can do about it. But what I have come to do this evening is to it is to uh, inform our people that nobody must be held responsible for anything, nobody must be accused of anything, nobody everything you just see that and what, and ask God to give wisdom to those who are in the leadership. Of Biafra to be able to accommodate the people, to be able to understand that we are now in autopilot, and it is only with the wisdom of God we'll be able to handle it. It is only with the wisdom, and it is going to be the dangerous part of this trouble. That is where we are now. And if you have been following, when I was making this declaration of autopilot, let me maintain it. I said, the struggle has entered autopilot, a very dangerous space, where we have no control of what happened. Now you have seen it. Now you have seen it. It may not be in the entire Yafra that this whole uh, 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 sit at home or lockdown is happening now. Okay. People have decided to take the decision by themselves. It is the unification of the effort. Maybe you people say that we are forcing the people to have no You people say that uh, we are forcing people to sit at home. Okay. I want to I want you to join us this morning. Tell us where we where you are. Tell us where you are and what is happening there. Tell us where you are and what is happening there. Tell us where you are and what is happening there. It is in autopilot. Autopilot struggle for the It is a very dangerous one. Join us. Join us this morning by clicking this link. Join us this morning by clicking this link. Here we go. We want to know where you are, what's going on, what's happening. Tell us where you are. Join us and tell us where you are. What is happening there? Okay. What is happening there? I have been receiving even message from government uh, officials. I have received message this morning from government officials from the upper land. This morning, government officials from Biafra land have contacted me. They say, is it true that they have canceled the sit at home order? I said, they have canceled it, but everybody should use his brain. I have received messages from government officials this morning. And when I say official, I'm not talking about the uh, ordinary civil servant. I mean government officials. They have wrote, they wrote me this morning directly. And they asked me, is it true that they have cancelled this data program? I say yes. Our leader has cancelled this data program. <laughs> but I would advise you to use your head. You see, so that is the, the least I can do. Because people are angry. They are not angry of anything. They are angry that our leader is still being held captive. Meanwhile, meanwhile, other all the criminals in Nigeria, including Abba Kairi, is still undergoing due process of extradition to the U.S. But he's a criminal. The government now invoke 
new process. They want to constitute a panel of inquiry. They want to do this. They want to do that. And they are, you know, they want to follow the process. We also have seen other criminals. They have all these, all these terrorists they have captured in Nigeria. Nobody have taken them to BSS. They have not arrested anybody. We saw when they were butchering people in, in Jaws. Army, Nigeria army say they cannot attack the Fulanese who were killing people in the Jaws because they did not get the order to attack them. But in ESN, when they come to East, they don't need your order. They don't need your For them, coming to East is already order to come and kill. So people are angry. People are angry. The injustice is too much. And now, what you see now is also a vote of no confidence on the leaders of the South. I said, some of the leaders in the South is the contacted with the people. Not, not one or not two, not three. About ten, about ten leaders in the South East contacted me this month from different states. They were asking questions. They say, is it true that they have cancelled the ticket at home? Because they also want to obey. They want to obey the seat at home. I said they have cancelled it. Okay. But use your head, though. The same thing I told this one is the same thing I told the other one. I said they have suspended the seat at home, but please use your head. Because you never can tell. You never can tell. You know, when we are saying that even the governors are Biafra, nobody believes. Nobody believes. You see these governors. All of them are Biafra. They are only being just to be ignorant and very afraid of losing everything they have got. But they are not going to lose it. They think that immediately they declare, immediately they declare support openly. They are going to come for them, you know, which is the normal thing Nigeria government does. So the link is there. Join us. You don't need to show your face. Join us where you are. Calling from, click the link and tell us where you are calling from. And what is going on there? We want to hear. We want to hear from you. Before you call, please. Before you call, I want to on uh, those of you calling from. Uh, please don't call yet. Those of you calling from uh, uh, WhatsApp, don't call yet. I want to connect. I want to connect this. Um, I want to connect uh, right. Right, you can click the link and join us. Click the link and join us and let us see where you are. Where you are calling from. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Those of you who want to call from, uh, who want to call uh, uh, WhatsApp, you are, uh, we are set and we are ready to receive your calls from, uh, from, uh, you have been, you are welcome to call what WhatsApp line. Let me uh, bring onto the screen the WhatsApp to call. WhatsApp number is this. Call us and let us uh, hear where you are, where you are calling from, what is going on there. And for those of you who are watching and you may not have the possibility to to click on the link, hello. 
Yes, welcome to the program. Okay. Yes. 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 So, Kebisa. Oh, sorry. Kebisa is up. From all of, and all of lockdown. Oh, we miss you. We miss, we miss the call. We miss the call. So, although, although it's locked down. Thank you very much. We need pictures. We need pictures and videos. Okay, I will do it right away. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. We do. We do. Yeah. Yes. Have you all heard that? Although it's completely locked down. And uh, people are saying, right, let us hear who is this. Good morning from here. Hello. Yes, good morning. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Where are you calling from, I'm please? Not, I'm, not I'm calling from the zoo, Nigeria. Good. What is happening where you are? Are you in Biafra land? I'm a real Biafra man. I mean, are you in I Biafra? Will, I, will, I, will, I will take my, I will take my vernacular. No, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Speak, just speak English so that everybody will be hearing you. So, are you calling from, okay. are you calling from Biafra land or from somewhere else? I'm calling from Biafra land. I'm calling from Anambra State. What is going on in Anambra State? What is going on? Because everywhere, everywhere is locked down. Everywhere is locked down. Do you know what it is called? It is called autopilot. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, we need pictures and we need videos. Don't worry, I will do that. All right. Thank you very much. My brother, I'm very, very happy. My, my name is Uncle uh, Francis. Thank you. I'm very, very happy for what is happening in Biafra right now. Thank you. It is also a vote of no confidence on Biafra leaders, on the leaders of the Southeast. Yes. It is a vote of no confidence yes. on governors. The people have come to say they are no longer under the governor's control. So this is a call for the governors to resign. We are on control now. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm glad I'm here. Thank you. Right. You have. You all have had it. Anambra State in total lockdown. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you calling from, please? Oh, we lost him. Hello. Yes, where are you calling from, please? Hello. Hello. Good morning from here. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to the program. Oh, we lost him. I, this, the number, the, the call is coming too much, so uh, it is something that uh, <laughs> the call is just too much. Uh, just keep trying, and uh, once... Uh... Hello? Yes, welcome to the program. 
Yes, this is Mazi Simonetta. This is Mazi Simonetta. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Yes, good morning. Uh, Mazi, I'm calling from England. Welcome to the program. Have you called people back home? What is going on from your side? Uh, well, I'm not called people back home. I just wanted to make a comment on the trip that's home. Go ahead. Yeah. And I did a talk chat. Well, what I just want to say is that the Monday trip that's home should be continued till Mazi and the country should be used to receive the visit as you the state governors are not amazing people. <laughs> they never love him. So there is no way they are going to go to uh, you know, negotiate an answer for him to be free. Yes. They just want this one out of elections. So, yes. But they say that's what must continue. Thank that's you. That's must continue to be that is getting ready. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, my name is, my name is IKK. I don't know if I told you my name when I started. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Somebody is asking whether... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Somebody, yeah, somebody is asking whether this is the uh, live broadcast. This is live broadcast, live and direct, and this is uh, the 16th day of uh, August uh, 2021. So we are live to bring you the update of what is going on in Biafra land. Good morning from here. Good morning from here. Hello. Hello. Where are you calling from? Good morning. From Lome. Yes, I'm calling from Lome. So, have you contacted people back home? What is happening in your place? Yes, yes. I'm following even on social media everywhere. It's total shutdown. Good. Tell your people we need pictures. Well, well Master, come on. I greet you. May God bless you for what you are doing for the people of Biafra. We are very, very grateful to have you in this uh, time. May God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you very much. It we is... want our to know that they should obey the voice of the people because the voice of the devil is the voice of the God. Exactly. We need our leader to be speak. We are not happy. Our leader is in the secret prayer. Yeah. Are you there? So many calls calling coming at the same time. You all know that I'm not used to this telephone calling. But uh, I will manage, yeah. I, will, I will try to manage because I'm not used to this telephone calling like, you know, with this, because the call is coming from like almost everywhere. So, uh, are you still there? Are you still there? Hello? Are you there? Hello, good morning. Good morning, welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, can you hear me? I can hear you, Simon. Good morning. Go ahead, go ahead. Where are you calling from? What is happening there? I'm calling from I'm, I'm calling from Anna Onicha. What is happening? What is the situation in Onicha? Onicha is so out of time. Good. We need pictures. We need pictures and videos. Uh, people, people are still not coming. People are not coming. They are still not coming. They are still not coming. Good. What it means is that the people of Biafra has given a vote of no confidence. And this vote of no confidence on governors will continue until further notice. Because it is the autopilot, yeah, yeah. autopilot, autopilot of the struggle for Biafra. The spirit of Biafra has possessed Biafra people 
and they are now taking it this they are taking the, 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 the boom by the, by its horn. Thank you very much. I want to show more. After Mazin Nam, they can all do one. Nobody, 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 after Mazin Nam, they can all do US. After Mazin Nam, they can all do US. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We continue all our. Thank you. All our concern is Biafra, and Biafra is all we want. And uh, so continue to call us and give us the update to where you are. Good morning from here. Hello? 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 Yes, good morning. Welcome to the program. Where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning. I'm calling from Biafra Land. I'm on. Which, which part of Biafra Land? I'm from Ebony State. What, what is going on in Ebony State? Ebony State, uh, there are, there are lockdowns, there are lockdowns living in the villages as I've been making phone calls around. Uh, of Anko, where I am, there's lockdown. Of Ake, there's lockdown. So people are moving to this country. Good, good. You, we need pictures. We need so, pictures. Uh, we need pictures and video of uh, my, of the autopilot that sit at home. My, my, my suggestion to you, as one of the leading faces uh, of this problem, is uh, uh, some effort has to be made to to continue this at home and any other uh, that we help. But we cannot just table uh, this without any compromise from the government. We know that the political elite in Nigerland are interested in getting them the kind of fuel. The Fulani uh, rulers of Nigeria are interested in getting them the kind of fuel. So only pressure, only pressure, only pressure can now make them to rethink. rethink. We cannot do um, a take at home and say, oh, we are returning it for one day. We have to do it for many, many months as long as it's there until we say we are returning it. So people need to watch what happened in South Africa when people are talking about political struggles. You need to read that account of South Africa and South Africa's struggle led by Mandela and his group. So people need to watch that. So they have to, we have to continue all means of civil civilian and, and strife and all that in order to get that guy out of that place and the referendum called in Nigeria. Thank so you. Thank you very much. Your, your suggestion is noted. You are suggesting that uh, the sit at home must continue because we need to see a compromise from the government side and we are yet to see that. So thank you very much. It is noted. Uh, we are going to expect other right. callers, other callers to join us. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Where are you calling from, please? Hello? Hello? Your name and where you're calling from, please? Good morning. In somewhere, calling from Nemo State. Nemo, what, is the go what is going on in Nemo State? What is the situation there? Everywhere, everywhere is put out of that. I stayed in a supermarket in Nemo State. Thank you very much. Everywhere is in locked down. In yes, yes, the biggest market is in the Nipple State, yes. That is where you are calling from, and the market is locked down. Yes, as usual, as usual. Make the video. Then I will, I will, yes, I will send, I will send from for you. Make the video, make the video and send to me. Please, as you are making the video, we want you to make the video of a, of the places that are very very bad. Make the video okay, of places okay, okay. that are very dirty and very bad. Make the video of those okay. uh, places that has you know, that is very very dirty. That is what we want to see. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much.
Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Good morning. Yes, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Aba. What is going on in Aba? Aba is locked down. Everywhere is locked down. I'm in a top story now. Everywhere is totally locked down. Nothing is moving. Everywhere is locked down. Everywhere is locked down in Aba. So can you stop? You are watching me. You are listening. You are listening. You are listening from uh, from another device. Can you just uh, listen to me directly from here? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Welcome. Welcome to the program. Yes. You are calling from Gambia. Yes. Have you called your people back home? What is going on there? So, uh, there is a lockdown in your place. Hello? Right, let us, let us check. Let us check what the BBC pigeon is talking. Yes, welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Why? I'm from the club, Anambra State. What is going on in the club, Anambra State? The club, yeah. What is going on in the club? Yeah? The club is very, very calm. No, nobody is moving. Okay. We need pictures and videos. The club is calm. Everywhere is locked down. Autopilot. Yeah. Autopilot. Right. Thank you very much. We are going to we are going to show you people now. We are going to show you people the a quarter. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Hello. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. Where are you calling from? I'm sorry. Yes, where are you calling from, please? Hello? Where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Ugoosha. From Iguacha, what is going on in Iguacha? Well, Iguacha here, uh, every year is uh, somehow raw, uh, nothing is moving. Uh, here is the uh, fancy. Uh, so there is some little movement. But okay. uh, some of the areas are very, very uh, outstanding, even though that is a term as we can say, yes. but people stay who are part of the normal value. People are still very chilly, very chilly on their own, uh, observing the seats at school. Mm -hmm. But my advice is for our people to see, uh, you know, I understand the, the, the view on this because uh, we believe in the command and control. So, but in this case, I don't think uh, that it's necessary anymore. I think we should be more because it's confused. I listened to hear us last night, and uh, I can understand that even the yourself are not uh, sure of the information I've uh, been given by our lawyer. Uh, so, I, I believe that uh, we should probably we should do uh, one way or the other. Why is it the, 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 the matter? Uh, we stay in that room. No, we lost, we lost you, we lost you. But let us play what is happening in the quarter. It's then Monday. Uh, we day right now for a quarter roundabout, a quarter roundabout for Oka Anambra State Capital. We get close to the quarter main market, which happens to be the 
biggest uh, commercial market we did for Hawker and Ambra State. One as a thing as we take happen today, based on the every Monday sit at home order, we IPOB issue for the five southeast states we did for the country. So this morning, BBC Pigeon Day Life on Ground, let me bring to you as we take happen for Hawker and Ambra State Capital. Uh, the tutorial we they hear for some quarters uh, this uh, since yesterday. Some quarters they talk say they sit at home, they don't cancel them. From the talk say they don't cancel them. And the discussion with people, people say they know too sure, they know too new which information we then go follow. And some people this morning, from uh, junctions we did for Oka, we would don't visit this morning. We don't find out, say, most of the roads be very, you know, empty. People no come out. Some people, when no one follow us talk on camera, we will ask, so why they no come out? That's why the fact, say, another state government don't tell people, say, when they day free, go about their normal business. Look at this idiot. Look at this idiot reporting, reporting nonsense. Look at this, this, this non entity. A stupid idiot reporting something. Where is the Anambra State telling people to go up the normal way? The IPOB, Mazinam Bikano, suspended the seat at home. So why would this guy be reporting rubbish in Biafra land, standing on Biafra soil and be talking rubbish that uh, even though the governors of uh, the governor of Anambra State have asked people, why did he not mention that the, the 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 the, uh, the seat at home or the husband was suspended. He didn't mention it. He was saying people say people do this, people do that, and they allow him to stand there and talk this rubbish. That is how that is how corrupt that corrupt they are. They can never be anything in this life. Corrupt and evil people. How can he be pro corrupt? I twisting stories. Police. Another security agency is going to be on ground. Make sure say people who get the acting with the people who do today, they feel to go about their normal businesses. Instead of saying police will be there to ensure the security of life and property. Some people who talk to say they don't know which one they go follow. They don't say they don't know whether two two they don't cancel the seat at home or two two they don't cancel. And based on some incident, we have come for some time uh, states and some time location, people they fear. But they don't want to come out. We talk say they don't want to fall victim to any bad news or anything. When we bring a uh, katakata for them, their business and their family. So some people say that here make them know to come out. We pay for a call back. Last one day we will bring you reports for this call back. What you will see today, people know to come out last uh, last Monday. Where the city at home start. So, but today, people play city for day. They sell from the whole walk. Because the number of people we will see for road today, some people talk so to the they say they cancel. Then maybe they say maybe they come out. But the echo coming market, which happens to be one of the biggest markets where they for at the Alam Bristol market. The market for people. We will talk about the camera and say, they come. But instead of here, they no go open. They go just sit down. They look. They they know, say, no, they know how to they go take go. Some people will come. When they come buy something. Come see, discover, say, the market no open. Some of them don't go back. Some of them will say, maybe they wait. Reach 10 o'clock or 11. Then they know whether some of the markets go open. Think of saying the truth to travel from far, come when they, they buy something from market. So we did a talk around about for Zika Venue for now. We capital this morning. We will try to talk to one or two persons. If you look around, we will see food vendors come out well, well today. Market people, those who they sell for roadside, come out. Those who they sell food, those who they sell, uh, where they carry stuffs, they walk up and down, where they call hawkers. They did. We don't know whether all this this particular face where this guy is uh, videoing this thing now, where this guy is putting the video, is only not about the cover. Why can't the guy show everybody around? This is how evil they are. Why can't he show people around? 
the current video, he put it one side. He cannot show people around. If he see everybody, no people around. He stand for one corner. He put the video there, and he was talking rubbish. From what he said, you already know he's an evil man. The guy making this video is a very evil man. How can he be reporting a coca, a coca, a coca, and you are in a coca? Is a coca one-sided? Why can't you show the people that you are? Show the people the coca you are talking about. You see people sitting down without carrying out and carrying any anything or any hockey thing, and he say they are hockey. Also, also, some people don't think only when they go market, come back. Yes, some people when they go market for only jam, when they go vegetable market, some of them talk to the come out only money go buy market. People say they don't know as real to take free. Oh, but I see what are some people who talk to us from traders when they so many traders stay in front of their domains, they know they know open. People say they don't see it. Some of them who go talk to you, they tell us why they come to uh, the uh, market, but you don't want to uh, open up. We go try to talk to some of them. Remember also, Arab state governments don't talk to all the people who they work, government work. Hey, if you don't come work still, you are your own. Say, government, no go hear any excuse. So, in the early hours of the morning, some government workers here will talk to you. If they don't early go work, because say they don't know what is he happen. They don't know as road to A and B. So we will try to go around, talk to some people. They will ascertain, hear from them too. Why they come market, they know open. They go day, they go about their normal business. Most of the care drivers they they go do a, go about their normal businesses. But they come to main market. Plenty of marketers come, but they stay in front of their domains. They know who they will try to see if we see, get one or two persons with laws for tell us why they come and why they know one open store. Now, BBC teaching today, we will report to you live from a corner main market for Madiana State Capital this morning. Right, you've just watched that. You've just watched that. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Oh, the market can you me? What is going on there? Good. We need pictures, we need pictures and video. Yes, but I want I want to see something here. Someone that man commenting about the contact. Oh, 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 Good. We need uh, we need the videos and pictures. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. I'm from the Republic. Republic. Have you been in touch with your people? What is going on there? Yes, 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for we need to see videos and pictures. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Come on. Good morning from here. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Senegal, my brother. Have you contacted your people back home? What is the situation there? Yeah, I've contacted them already. Um, I'm from Imo State. Uh, I've called one of the two people. I think they are following the other and they are, they are, they are sitting at home in our place. So everywhere is shot according to what I have. Uh, but uh, they, yeah, are not, they are not, they are not following the, they are not following the order if they sit at home because yeah. the order, the order is that uh, we, the sit at home order has been suspended. So, I've been cancelled. Yes, yes, yes. I think uh, should I have said they are following the, the initial order. Should I have let's put it in that form? They are following the initial last week order. Okay. Uh, I want to say one or two things over the over this seat at home. Uh, my observant there and my as I think uh, it's time for us to allow our people to do their mind. And secondly, this is at home, we have seen it to be to be a very progressive move. So we shall allow our people, because DOS, we are the one they are serving, and we are the one that put them there. It's time for them to hear the voice of the people and obey it. This is what we have decided to be doing in solidarity of our leader that has been kidnapped. So there is no other way that we can at least do our anger than this way. Mm. So anybody coming against this agitation, is coming against that POB. They should leave us alone. Let us do what we are doing. He's working for us. Let us, if we are doing it. Go ahead. Huh? Welcome to the program. Huh? Welcome to the program. You know that our leader said this one, our leader said that one. That person is, is, is a very part of the truth, and we are not going to believe that. This is at home order. Someone should leave it for us like that. Every Monday cannot be us. If it's a sacrifice that we are going Hello. Hello. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. Ebuka from Anambra State. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Ebuka from Anambra State. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere is totally shut down. Uh, only some market where I trade, everywhere is totally, totally shut down. No, no market everywhere, no movement. And, Somebody uh, said. Uh, Mike? Hello? Uh, so, sorry, before you continue. Uh, I have uh, somebody yeah. who is uh, chatting in the private here. So, Sam, do I bring you in to say what you are saying? So that after that, I will clarify you because you are not in the comment section. You are not in the comment section to, to comment this so that I will respond to you. So if I respond to you now, nobody see the comment you are making. Nobody know what I'm responding to. 
you say that uh, Mazi don't mean to come in, please. I just uh, okay. So I'm gonna bring you in. So after this uh, call, and then I'll bring you in, sir. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So everywhere is totally shut down, and um, the point I'm trying to let our people know is that it's not like we are disobeying our 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 DOS. So, uh, the um, DOS is that people people is trying to 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 show them that um, with. It's like it works for people. So as it works for us, I don't see the reason why we have to change the, the method of this at home. As it is now, everywhere is locked down and we are following the, the move. All right, all right. I'm having some issue with uh, this whole system because this is the first time I'm using this uh, this system, and uh, so I'm having some issue with it. But anyway, I will manage and next time. So, uh, Sam, welcome to the program. Tell us what you want to tell us. Ah, uh, good afternoon from here in India. Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, my name is Samson from uh, uh, Anamu, Anambra State, Biafra land. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, my uh, opinion is that. Uh, when people are calling saying that uh, we are on lockdown, everywhere is locked down, you said good, good, yeah. I love it and uh, I like it also. But, uh, you know, people may, diso may misunderstand you by saying that uh, you support these people that are, mis uh, dis that are disobeying the, sit uh, uh, the suspension of a uh, sit at home. So it's just an opinion. It's just an opinion. Your opinion, your opinion is noted. But did you watch my program yesterday? I watch your uh, program every minute, every day. Anytime you come uh, online, I watch the first you watch, If you watch my, if you watch my program, where I have made it rhetorically very, very clear that uh, everybody must obey the sit at home. Yes. yes so why are you coming here when people are telling me that the the place is lo is locked down? And I have also informed people about the possibility of autopiloted. Uh, Biafra struggle and sit at home. That the Biafra spirit has possessed people. So I am just telling you how the spirit has been right. The vindication of the pronouncement of the autopilot, which the people of Biafra have voluntarily want to do on their own. So what exactly. is what is so wrong with that? You 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 are misunderstanding me. It's not that uh, you are wrong. You are not wrong. Okay, you are wrong. But uh, I'm I'm just trying to make you understand what other people may be saying. Mm -hmm. let, that other people, let that other people also understand the fact that I am also making it very clear, even in this broadcast, that yeah, people exactly. should also obey the obey the order from the DOS. So, what exactly would the people not understand in that? What people may not understand is that uh, they may think that uh, you are supporting the uh, you are supporting people to come out and uh, to sit at home. That they can it. think they can think whatever they think. The DOS are not uh, are not Mumu people. So if exactly. the US understand, okay. I don't think what I don't think what other people think. Very good. It's okay. It's okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for yeah. giving me this opportunity. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, welcome to the program. Where are you calling from, please? I don't know how. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Good morning from here. Hello.
Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Okay, a lot of calls coming at the same time. Hello? Yes, money from money from here. Where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Aba right now. What is the situation in Aba? Sir, I was here live and direct in that right Aba. A soldier shot one of their fan boy. Right? We lost you. They say that a soldier shot one Biafran boy. We don't know. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from, please? Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming from. I'm calling from Iyama. What is the situation in Ihala? Hello? What is the situation in Ihala? Yeah, can you hear me? I am hearing you. What is the situation in Ihala? Everywhere is shut down. Everywhere is shut down in Ihala. Yeah. Good. Send picture, send picture and uh, videos. This is a, this is also a vote of no confidence from the Biafra people to the governors. And uh, this is also the reason why the governors must step down because they can't continue to rule the people they have no control over. I'm going to What is the in Can you stop watching me? Can you stop watching me? Where are you calling from? Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello. Hello. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Oh God, I'm calling from Oka, Biafra land. From Oka, what is the situation in Oka? Oka is totally locked down. Oka, Oka is totally locked down. Yes, sir. So, what is the, the BBC? What this BBC it was, was what this BBC guy was reporting from a coca? No, I don't know who is this. I'm in Oka now. I live in Oka. No, we are everywhere. Everywhere is locked down. Only few vehicles are moving. All shops are locked down. Only few vehicles are moving. Few private vehicles. Few private. Few. All right. We need videos. We need videos and pictures. Because okay. this, those the same pictures. The same pictures and videos. Those pictures and videos is the evidence we are going to use as we begin to call the resignation of all the governors in the southeast. So we need to compile the evidences okay. to show that the people have passed vote of no confidence on them and they cannot continue to rule over people that they have no control over. So they have lost legitimacy. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll do that. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where you're calling from, please. Yes, I am the one that called the first time. I'm calling from Aba. Okay. Yeah, my name is Onyem Mechi. I'm calling from Aba. Go ahead. Something happened in, something happened in that line this morning, live and direct. I was there. I just went out in my house to, uh, to go to the junction at that line in a situation called Liquid Bunk. And and that's why I um, um, the road to go to Patakot from Aria Redemption. Mm. So, guys, or uh, the people that were there was chasing the KK to go go back, and the boss that are going to Patakot they go to go back. 
So they don't know that uh, a Kekem man went and called a soldier man from on the onion's market. The soldier man entered Keke, reaching closer to where we are, he shoot the gun two times. Unfortunately, the, the time closer to all the other bullet touch him in his heart. He died in, in, in country. Even right now, he's in our street, he's in the street of the, uh, in the street of the dark line there. So this is the incident that happened here this morning. Please, we need uh, right. yes, please, and we need the uh, the picture of that uh, person immediately. We need to have the picture. We need to have the picture of the of the person. Uh, as, he, as, he, as he is lying there lifelessly, we need to have the picture immediately before anything is done. Please, if you have access to yes. the place, please yes. send the picture to me, please, and write I that. Captured, I captured the whole thing. The thing there is that you know how Nigerian government to do. I don't want my number to be exposed everywhere. I don't want my number to be exposed everywhere. If there is a secret number you can send it to me, then I will send you the video of the young man and the picture. This is the, you are just case. calling me. You are just calling me. You are just calling this number in WhatsApp. Send it to this WhatsApp. Nobody else see your number except me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now another thing I want to say is that I am I am praying for Biafra to come in my city corner. I practice. I practice Jewish culture. This is what I studied to practice. Before Nan the Kano was arrested, I went to for a journey in Lagos. Before he was arrested, I went a journey in Lagos. In my dream of one Sabbath like this, they killed Nan the Kano. I called my wife and said, Man, I am in the dream now that they killed Nan the Kano. I don't know. In that dream, I was crying. I, I woke no, up. Nobody, then nobody, I my wife, so nobody, me. yes. But let me tell you, nobody, if you let drink. Me come, sir. Let okay. me raise my case. Okay. Let me raise my case. Let me raise my case. So, unfortunately, reaching that Tuesday or Monday, they announced that they have arrested a man that I said, like, Wow, well, is, this, is this what God was telling me? Now, reaching on Friday again, Friday morning, I was sleeping in my house. Then listen to me and listen to me attentively. I don't talk any, I have not called this line before. I don't make noise. I am a secret a messenger of the most high. I am a secret messenger of the most high. I was in the dream. I, I was in the dream on Friday. Then again, both from room, from Vatican City Room, gave an order that they should kill Una the Kano. In DFS. And DFS of Nigeria killed Nabekano. I was there crying in that dream. I wake up. I said, What is going on? So, which means, if you mean that this man will not survive, I keep on praying for him. So, you people should keep on praying for Nabekano and make sure that Nabekano will come out from that prison where he is. And right now, the people are back. everywhere is shut down in Abba. No vehicle moving. I hear the market is open, but nobody is inside here. But you people should make sure that Nam the Kano will come out. I don't have any other thing to say. I am a secret prayer. I'm praying within myself. Nobody knows me. I am praying for myself because Nam the Kano taught me a lot of things which I have read. Thank you very much. We we lost we lost you. We lost you, but your message has been passed and uh, and they passed very, very, very well. So Welcome to the program. Good Hello, morning. morning. Yes, good morning from here. I live in Lagos State. All right, what is happening in yeah. your... Do you, yeah. Have you called home and what is going on in your place? Yeah, all right. I'm from Mimo State, but I called from my maternal home at that state. Abba was totally locked down. Good. Tell them we need pictures and videos. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. I really appreciate for the good work you are doing. God bless you. Thank you very much. Some people say put your phone on silent. What I am using, what I am using is, uh, I'm using uh, uh, the president, uh, President Adam phone. I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know where the. I've tried to put the thing in silent. The thing is in silent and it is still ringing. So anyway, 
uh, some of you who are not uh, who did not start this program from the beginning the point here is that like we have said this uh, uh, struggle has entered autopilot and don't blame people we must not blame people we must um, we must uh, you know trade very very carefully uh, with the uh, with the uh, people uh, with the decision of the people we must uh, pray to god to Elohim to give us wisdom, especially those uh, the decision makers of the, the Biafra leadership, to give them wisdom to handle this because this is spiritual, spiritually uh, motivated uh, 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 civil disobedience. It is not ordinary. So people should understand. Nobody is uh, insubordinating uh, Mazenam Dikano. Nobody is disobeying Mazenam Dikano uh, order. Nobody is disobeying DOS order. Nobody is insubordinating DOS, the leadership of Biafra, but the, what is happening is autopiloted by the spirit of Biafra, which if you have been following and listening because we have seen the chain in the spirit and God has revealed to us what is to come. And the only thing now is that to understand that this is autopilot. If you understand that this is autopilot, believe me, you have solved the problem. You have solved most of the problem that may come as a result of misunderstanding, as a result of misconception, as a result of not really understanding what is going to happen and what is going on. But when you come to term that, yes, the spirit of Biafra has possessed millions of Biafrans, both home and abroad, and it, it is, you see, what is happening now is if it didn't happen, you know that uh, all the teachings of Mazenam de Kano didn't hold water. I am telling you. And if it didn't happen, you will know that, in fact, all the teachings of, uh, of our leader and all this, our exposition, all this, our exposition and the, and the shouting uh, uh, or, or, uh, on the internet every day, it didn't hold water. Because the, what the reaction you are seeing now is the spirit that has possessed people. And people are wise. They are thinking. <laughs> so it you see, and it is going to become. I said it is a very dangerous stage. I want you to watch. Welcome to the program. Good morning from here. Hello, welcome to the program. Okay. Please can you start can, please can you start can you start from the beginning because people didn't hear you when you started from the beginning so can you start from the beginning so that people will understand you I said my name is Adeleke Adeleke I am a Yoruba I am a Yoruba man Okay I follow Namdekanu a lot So I love his preaching and I love his teaching every time I watch him So what is happening now I'm surprised the the see that tune that is working. The Namdekano I listen to every time can never stop such thing. Mm. So so that right now I love your people because they call it autopilot. That is the spirit of Biafra. I'm not a Biafra, I'm a Yoruba man, but this is Namdekano I listen to every time. Mm. Every time. When it's online. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. This is our uh, Odudua brother said that uh, he follow Mazin Amdikano, our leader, and uh, from what he have followed him and listening, Mazin Amdikano is not somebody that will stop what is working, and uh, that uh, he can now is very proud of dear friends that uh, the struggle have entered autopilot. Uh, he's very, very proud of Pierre France. And who will not be proud to see that uh, the preaching that we have done for ages is now working and people, the, the spirit of Biafra has possessed the people of Biafra. So nobody must blame anybody for this. 
It is something that we actually, you know, somehow we should um, they, they respect the order that have come. And at the same time, we have entered a very critical stage uh, of this uh, struggle that everybody must understand that. Good morning Hello. from here. <laughs> yes, uh, Mother Simon. Good afternoon from here. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm calling from Israel. From Israel. Welcome to the program. Have you have you contacted your people back home? What are they saying? Hello? You said what? I said, have you contacted your people back home? What is the situation there? Yes, I have contacted them, but I don't have um, any photo or any video. But I just want you to give me uh, two minutes to uh, contribute concerning this uh, uh, seat at home order uh, and uh, suspending the seat at home order. Go ahead. Uh, please, my name, my name is from Anthony, and I am calling from Israel. I am from Delta State. Delta State is the Afrala. Um, I'm happy that what is, what is happening now. I just want Nigerian government and the people of the Afra to know that the Afra issue is beyond Mother in the Now the uh, DOS said they are suspending this uh, thing at home. And the people of the Afra said no. Because it's not all about DOS. It's all about people of Biafra. I am happy of this disobedience. It is good the way it is. Let them know it's not all about Martin and the Tamil. It's all about Biafra. It's all about what we want. We want our leader to be free. We want our nation Biafra to be free. So this is all about Biafra. It's not all about DOS. It's not all about IPOB. It's not all about Martin and the Tamil. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning from here. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello. Hello, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, my name is Shima Emese. I'm calling from Malaysia. You are calling from Malaysia. Have you been able to call your people back home and uh, ask them what is the situation? Yes. I already called my brother. He said total lockdown in Abba. Good. So we need pictures and videos yeah. as much as possible. Sorry? Thank you. This uh, calling system is not working at all. <laughs> I have to. Two point two thousand people. I would have willed out. Hello. Also, did I have more than a thousand? Oh, you're not passing. Oh, you're not passing it there. Oh, you're not passing it there. This is as a Christian calling from Abba. All right, go go ahead. What is the situation there? Sir, the Abba Envy virus observed the seat at home, irrespective of uh, DOS cancellation. Oh, oh, it is not it is not DOS cancellation. The cancellation came from our leader, Mazen Amdikano. Are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Hello. Good morning. Samuel. Yes. Good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear yeah, you. Okay. I'm, I'm Mazia Katawa. I'm calling from Ireland. All right. Have you been able to call your people and what is the situation there? Oh, yeah. I've, I've called and uh, it's, there's a kind of uh, at least 80% compliance to sit at home with the previous status order that was given. Yes. Okay. And uh, what I want to say is that the, 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 the U.S. actually got over this uh, occasion of uh, Twitter 2. 
You can't, when you give an order, you just, just wake up and then uh, you get an order one. So I don't know how they came to this resolution. And the way this man was presenting that uh, cancellation was kind of, it baffles me. It was kind of uh, bubbling here and there, and uh, at the end of the day, it said it's cancelled. What Nigerian government, you don't, you, you don't deal with them with kids, for God's sake. They, 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 they kidnap our, our leaders, and then they kept them in dungeon without even, we have not even seen proof of life. They should have just said, okay, for us to even say this, take him as vessel. Not even stop them from, because we are holding them. As you have that in your, all you should have said is, okay, let not, not independent medicalist the one giving the order actually. Let him address us. He can call, he can give you phone, he can ring, and then we ask him questions to find out if it is in his handband to to for to, to, to the case. Not just because a lawyer came out. Are we not relying only on the lawyer? Is lawyer the DOS? Is he a member of a member of RPOB? I can a lawyer come and say, oh, oh I need to accept this. Are we sure that it's even well? I can make your Come and cancel something that, are, that is working. And that's what people are doing today. People don't start to protect compliance. It is a vote of no compliance for whoever that can try to cancel this. They should go back and, 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 and stop it. We are telling me to call the phone. Even though you are in the prison in Europe, you have right to phone call. If they want to respect the people's wish, they should allow them to make a phone call. So let them talk if they don't want their family to be locked down. Please, that was a big brother from the children. They should go and rethink. You don't just cancel what you started. You don't just start what you can finish. Who are the guys who this? Are we sure? Who, 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 who wants to cancel that? Mm. Please, it's, it's, they should just go back and, and tell us so that it's been restored. I'm saying that the guys show the show of school of life. All of the same thing that happened in Kenya. That I don't know why they didn't blow their alarm. But to eight days. And he was referring, he was going to Nigeria. He said, uh, we will, we will, we will leave you. What kind of promise are they giving to him? How can, why can we, why can you say that they can't? You don't need that. They are dealing with people that are very common people. Politicians are very common. Please, uh, don't, I'm sorry for my emotion. No problem. I'm too emotional. No problem. The DOS, DOS, you don't do the, the proper thing. You don't know how to. They should have all to have been able to address us. Not lost lawyer. What, what? Yes, we trust, we trust the lawyer, but not in this, in this struggle, even though you don't trust the wife, but not from a lawyer. For God's sake. Eh? Lawyer said this, lawyer said that. Lawyer said this, lawyer said that. You don't have to have your duplicate, or duplicate, or duplicate level. We in New York, I'm not a duplicate level. We don't bring us out of this issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your, for your concern. All right. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you live and direct. Okay. I just want to make a contribution to the live. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. On the on the case of uh, your. Uh, Announcement for the suspension of the secret law. I listened to you quite uh, frankly, and uh, from the from the voice of the DOS and his composure, some things were very very confusing. It was like someone who was being threatened, or someone who is under duress to make that announcement because the announcement was so vague and lack direction. Hmm. So for that alone, it's enough for everyone who have interest of the resolution of the affair to their affair at heart to doubt whatever thing that is going on. Because this is a very simple thing to do in this stage of digitalization to allow to allow the the DFRs at least to hear or receive a direct communication. From our leader, even most the why, both in picture and you know, and, and in video. So that's all I have to say. But for what people are doing, I have to, I have to say thank you very much. And uh, more grace to your elbow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
All right. We are going to go on a break. We are going to go on a break and we'll be back in a few minutes time. Attention, attention, IPOB One Family. This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website, www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. That is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution. When it comes to keeping our people safe, every bit counts. After all, the security of our communities is our responsibility. Let's make this happen together. Mr. Bella once again. <laughs> Wisdom, heal it, come on. Yeah. Huh. Save your friend will not last forever. They say happy up in a good time. What do they know? What do they know? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If they give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, They love us on Biafra. Biafra. This is the time we need to come to bed and fight for what is big. Belong to us. So get Lugo Manika Bandis who want to make us a giant of Africa. I don't go to the Nahu. Sugo. Mbogge Runi Sinanya. Mama Ukweno. Hello Lisa Binigwe. Out of his wisdom. Giving us somebody like Nam the Kalo. For this our race crew. Mission. 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 Mission.
close our ears to the Council of Despair, which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution. broadcast welcome back now we are going to continue from where we stop welcome to the program where are you calling from good morning I'm, I'm calling from London good morning have you been able to contact your people back home and what is the situation from your home the situation is that um, everywhere is locked down. I'm from Anambra State, yeah? 
Good. I even have a transaction I wanted them to do at the bank, and they said uh, nowhere. Everybody is on. Good. The bank the is. The time on. Uh, yes. Go on. Go the ahead. Bank also shops, of course. Yes. Okay. And uh, and uh, I do not know why this uh, this uh, thing is doing this this thing is doing. <laughs> I don't know how to silence it. I've tried everything, off every every vibration and every notification. It is still ringing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you there? Can I, yes, can I continue? Yes, continue, yes. Okay, so um, Simon, actually, I have a different perspective to what is going on now. Yeah? Go ahead. Uh, my own suggestion is that the lockdown we are practicing at the moment is working, but we have to put it a notch higher. We have to tighten the screw more <laughs> to get this, uh, this loop down. So we have to we we have to tighten the screw more. Yes, we have to tighten the screw. Lockdown is not none they cannot for to release none they can you need to lock the whole Nigeria. So locking the uh south is not enough to release none they can none they can is fighting for the whole ethnic nationalities in Nigeria. Yes. For Europe, for house, bars, for everywhere. So we need to lock the whole country down. In order to let him go, so if we are looking for his release, we need to lock the whole country down. But then we are locking only Biafra land. So if we are locking Biafra land, we need to up the game a bit. I have a very good um, uh, suggestion. I want. I don't want to make it public. I've been trying to reach you through WhatsApp. Is there will be anywhere from London? I've talked to you a couple of times. Okay. So we need to add more demand. We need to give them a list. Okay, it's not only Nam the Kanu. Nam the Kanu is a king. When a king moves, he moves with an entourage. You know. So when there is, go ahead, go ahead. All IPOB members that have been detained since uh, three years ago, five years ago, one year ago, three weeks ago, he has to come out. Mm -hmm. with uh, an entourage, okay? And we need to add more more specific to what we are doing. Let me, uh, I will reveal just one strategy because we need to get more people. Why are we asking only from Namdekano, our leader? Why, what are for uh, Sondibo? Why don't we add him in the package? And I work in our do our brothers. Maybe they will say, oh, look at what they are doing for our brothers. They, they too will start knocking down. Hello? Yes, yeah, you, you have a point. So, uh, in the next... Yes, uh, we, need to, we need to tighten them up more. We need none the can on Sunday Boho. Sunday Boho, unconditional release. No deportation or extradition to Nigeria. This All right, all right. Thank you very much. I need to, I need to off this thing that is making this noise. <coughs> yes, I will switch it off because I can't continue all this. All right, all right. Where did you send it? In answer info, uh, info at uh, epa.fi. At epa.fi. All right, all right. You can just three five minutes. Thank you so much, young man. Thank you, thank you.
All right. Good afternoon from here. Hello, good morning, Marcy. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Hello, good morning, Marcy. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Hello? All right, we lost that. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling from, please? Okay, I am, I am giving, I am giving up. <laughs> I am giving up uh, on this. Uh, I am giving up on this. Uh, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you calling from, please? Hello? Yes, where are you calling from, please? I can hear you. Okay. Welcome to the program. What is the situation in your place? All right. Anybody who wants to, anybody who wants to join must click, must click the, uh, must click the uh, the uh, link I'm about to share now because I am switching off. I am switching off the phone. The phone has failed and I can't continue. It is pissing me off. So I'm switching it off. You will no longer call me on the phone. So we are going to post our link as we usually do it. As we usually do it. Click on the link and then you are going to join so that uh, this uh, this uh, thing that is misbehaving will uh, will stop so join us join us by clicking the link it doesn't matter if you are able to watch our live broadcast you can also watch by clicking the link the link is being posted now and if you are watching from Biafra land you can also show us video live video let people see where you are what is happening there how have the uh the autopilot lockdown autopiloted lockdown taking effect on where you are welcome to the program hi sen oh good morning Ekpa. good morning good morning yeah. from here have you have you get have you been able to reach people back home uh no really i've been trying since morning but i'll the moment i get through i'll let you know okay yeah what i wanted to do my contribution today is uh the dos really to me they really messed up because no they, they no, no, say, no let me tell let me tell you let me tell you dos yeah. dos did not mess up it is not dos you know everybody is blaming dos 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 did not mess up. It is not DOS. DOS is giving the order according to the uh, command and control. The order came from our leader, Mazin Amdikano, and they have to do that job by passing the order uh, that was given to them. So it is not DOS. And let me tell you people, this is the first time we are, even though our leader has been in this situation in the past, this particular one is totally different. We have not been able to step up the game of Biafra uh, at a restoration, and it has never gotten any momentum as it is today. In 2015, when our leader was arrested, it was a different thing. Now it is a different thing. And that's why people do not understand. A lot have changed, a lot have been uh, put in place, and a lot is going on. We have the, uh, the ESN, which was set up to protect the Afro land. In 2015, we did not have that. And it is part of the roadmap to Biafra uh, uh, freedom. So a lot is changing, a lot will change, and a lot have changed. So people should understand that the DOS the did exactly what anybody should have or to have done, because you don't have to disobey the order coming from our leader, Mazinam Dikano. But now, the people of Biafra, 
the people of Biafra, nothing has spoiled yet. It is as you know what happened now by the people of the voice of the people of Biafra is going to now give the DOS the uh, the, 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 the impetus, you know, to to hit to the call of the people. And then they will, we also have to relate the message to our leader. This is what the Biafra people do. This is the action of the Biafra people. And the DOS will now have to go back to the drawing board and come up with something before the next Monday because this autopilot will continue even the next Monday that is coming. So so the DOS has been given the, the, uh, the, the clue of what is to come. And that's why I have been saying, let us pray for God to give them the wisdom to tap into the, uh, the spirit that has possessed the Biafra people. And they just need to know how to handle this case so that it will not go out of hand. Because we have entered, it has entered a very dangerous stage. If it enters a dangerous state whereby people will have no control or we have no control of what happens, then it is a very, a very dangerous. So don't blame DOS. DOS carried out the order given by the leader of the people of Biafra, Mazin, and Bikano. And we cannot accept people continue to blame them. Because um, if, you, if you are in the situation of DOS, you are going to give the same order just the way they did it. Okay, noted. Uh, why I said that uh, is this. If DOS, it's not that I'm really blaming them, but I still maintain on, my, on the initial word I said about them. And the reasons are simple. If they say they are, uh, they are an intelligent unit, uh, every word that our leader said needs to be double checked it needs confirmation last night i listened to radio biafra and a lady from from the nanga delta also from the riverland area she called and she said one thing she's also a dos member she said that she, she knew too well that our leader could not have given that command due to the personality of our leader that probably he was fed with wrong information or someone close to him or that went to see him convinced him to soft pedal on the order dos should have done a counter check to know if our leader truly gave that command after all there had been instances that our leader gave orders and dos will say okay this is their modus operandi their mo on how they operate and they would delay that which our leader said but they will eventually do it you gave an order that this lockdown will continue every Monday till our leader comes out, or perhaps till the next court case. And you did it just once, and you stopped. When I said smelling a foul play is this. After doing the first lockdown, then I came out with an opinion poll that if you want the lockdown to continue, I knew that something has gone wrong somewhere. And when I heard about the, the that they rescinded the lockdown, I first of all saw it in one of the Nigerian newspapers because I used to have uh, this online access to it that or harness to IPOB to stop that, to step down the lockdown that they know what to do. So when they told me, some comrades told me, I told them no, that it's, it's from Ohaneze, that is not true. One of my contact Kuwait told me the same thing. I said, no, not true. Then I started thinking, I said, if some of my comrades would tell me this and someone from Kuwait would also tell me this again, that means I have to check. I now went into it. I checked it. I saw it was true. But the DOS, for me, they should have taken a step to re-verify. Okay, we've heard what our leader said, but the news came a little bit too late. So let us allow it to happen this Sunday. Then we'll now review it and let it go. Or perhaps, okay, we've heard what our leader said. Let us just let it last this month. They did it the first Monday, and the Nigerian government re, uh, uh, reacted by releasing the, the PR friends that they arrested, or a hundred and something of them. If they had done it the second Monday, being today, I believe Biafra land will be warming up because they will not be able to know what will happen. Secondly, they will know now that holding our leader is totally useless. Because they cannot stop the Biafran people from achieving what they have, they, they have been destined to achieve. Exactly. So now, our leader is, is somewhere that they kept him there. And he gave an order and we obeyed. 
These people will know that we are not serious. They can play a happy prank tomorrow. When the court case comes up again, I tell you the honest truth, they will move it forward three months or six months. Yes. Because before they, they cut it, this is how useless they are. They had our leader for eight days in Kenya. Let us reason now constructively. They had him eight days in Kenya. The QS knew nothing about it. Nobody knew where he was. If they had wanted to kill him, they would kill him, and nothing would have happened. They brought him to Nigeria. They had him two days in Nigeria. Nobody knew anything. The third day, the Nigerian government now announced that we cut your leader. That shows a disconnection somewhere that DOS, perhaps, they don't know what they are doing. That shows a, that there is a disconnection that our intelligence gathering is somewhere, somehow sick and they don't know what they are doing. If the zoo government did not announce to us that they had our leader, till today we will say our leader is missing and they would have killed him and buried him. Nobody would have known anything. So for DOS to take this step again to rescind on what they have said, I believe something is wrong with them. And there is a hanky-panky going on in DOS. That is my belief. So DOS, now you said the, the, the Biafra struggle is on autopilot. Yes, we know that it's on autopilot. Some of the IPOB members, some of the comrades and everything, they will be having misunderstanding, of which I know. Now, if the Biafra people today went on a lockdown, despite the fact that DOS said we have rescinded the lockdown, what does it show? The DOS is going to lose control. So let them know what they are doing. Because now the Biafran people are not listening to them. They went on the lockdown voluntarily. If this still continues, DOS will speak. Nobody will listen to them. Mind you that I saw something about uh, Oman Bala uh, militants telling the government, the governors or the political juggernauts in Anambra that there will be no election. Those ones are on autopilot. If mm -hmm. someone from uh, where do they call and it again? And, oh. and it is and it is very dangerous. You remember, I said the autopilot is has entered a, is a very dangerous phase, which we are going to have no control over what happens. But with God's wisdom, we can control it. Go ahead. That is what I'm saying. That if we do not use this wisdom now, the DOS are playing demigod. I don't know what type of demigod they are. Maybe they are Alusin Joker or whatever. I don't care about that. You want to communicate with them, they just keep in communicado so that you cannot get across to them. You want to share reasoning with them, they just keep in communicado so that you can't get access to them. They just take their own decisions and say, this is what is good for the Biafran people. For Christ's sake, the Biafran people have suffered a lot from 1914 to today. What led to the civil war had been series of killings, series of genocide before Ujuku took that step. And now that the people have woken up, do not try to make them go to sleep. Now that they have woken up, they will eat anything they see. <laughs> Do you know that lions eat lions? So this time around, the DOS might become the hyenas. The Biafran people will become the lion. And they will eat the DOS up. Because anything that comes to the way of a man that has woken up, that is aware or enlightened, you cannot tell him to go back to sleep. It's impossible. Now the nerves of the Biafran people have been woken up. So what are they trying to do? Are they trying to play uh, some sort of remote control game that you come out today and say, the African people, hey, today, lockdown. Hey, tomorrow, no. Ne next tomorrow, hey, lockdown. Nobody will listen to them. It has come to that stage. And they should learn from this. It is better they have an emergency session, review their decision, and take a stand. Your leader cannot give an order to a third party and you accept it that it was his lawyer. The same lawyer that is dancing with that man, Otumeje. That shows incompetence on the side of that man doesn't know what integrity is all about. You are not meant to be featuring with some sort of people, no matter what happens. Have you seen any, um, um, anybody from the royal family in the UK when I was in Scotland? I've never seen any of the royal family go to some certain places. Even to death, they would not do it. So if you are on that pedestal, as a lawyer that is close to our leader, you don't have anything to do with a man like Odumeje dancing with him, then after that, he now came and gave us a decision. Uh, you know, our leader yeah, said, yeah, and DOS yeah, just you obeyed. Know, you know, let me just quickly, in, uh, you know, interrupt you in this okay. one. Yeah, uh, you know, one thing here is that the uh, the going to Odumeje has not, everybody have right to worship. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with Ejiofo uh, going to Odumeje. Odumeje is a pastor. Odumeje is a prophet. 
It is not in our, we are not in position to question the prophetic power of uh, Dumeje. Uh, the, the lawyer have the right to go to any place he believe he, you know, as a Christian, he can go to any place for to worship. He can even go to Dibia if he wants. He can even um, go to shrine. Simon, I will, interject right I will interject at this point. Huh? He can listen, he can even visit Okija if he wants, because that is his fundamental right. Nobody should interfere in that. He did not go there to to consult um, uh, um Odumeje, uh, specifically for Mazenam Dekano. If Odumeje starts to pray for Mazenam Dekano, he, he doesn't and he cannot ask people, don't post this video. I am here. So you, you know, it is something that is beyond control. And if he go out. Or the media escorted him and started spreading money. You see, you see there, are there are things that we should not be uh, delving into. Uh, in as much as we don't like certain things, in as much as we don't like certain people, there are we have to allow people to have the right to exercise, especially the religious point of view, what they believe in. We cannot just uh, you know interfere in that. This is their right. And this is your first uh, right. Irrespective of his position. Remember that we are Africans. Irrespective of his position, as a, the lead council of Mazen Amdikano, irrespective of that, you can't you can't you know uh, interfere in that alienable right of his to go to any place of worship he chooses. No, I get what you are saying. Huh? At this stage, we are not doing religion. At this stage, I'm not interfering in his right. So, for him to be there, and the next thing, a statement like this comes out, fingers will fly anywhere they want to fly to. Yes, people yeah, will have every, know. any reason and every reason to say anything that they want to say. There is something that I believe in. If I'm a public figure, I will reduce my steps. It's not every picture that I will appear in. It's not every video that I will appear in. I will be very careful. And coming out at this stage to say, a leader said this. He should be diplomatic about it. Since our leader has said this. It came to okay. sort it. Also, Let us also, prepare the minds of the Biafran you are, people. You are, missing, you are missing something here. You are missing something here. The thing you are missing is that Ejiofor is not the only person visiting Mazin Amdikan. And Ejiofor yeah, is, Ejiofo is not the only person who brings information from Mazin Amdikan. So why are you exempting or the other one? Do you have any reason for that? I don't have any reason for exempting anyone because his, his name comes to my mind often. I know that there is one called Ejimako. Okay. So you have, so you have if I use a job for if I use a job for it's like an umbrella name to cover every other person there. No, 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 because no, no, I, it is not. No, it is not. It is not. It is not. Because they visit uh Mazinam Dikano separately, differently. And uh, and uh, so it is not umbrella that covers everyone. A job for cannot guarantee the discussion between Ejima Eji Ejimako and Mazinam Dikano. And Mazina Ejimako cannot guarantee the discussion between a Jofo and Mazina Mdikano. So these are the things that we are talking about. And that is why we are not suspecting our, our council. We are not suspecting our uh, legal council. But what we are saying is that what I have come to say is that for us to be on a safer side, we need to have one person from this attorney to discuss in addition to the legal issues discuss the struggle, and convey okay. messages. Epa, uh, listen, listen, how about, listen, how about if we do it like this? I'm coming. You'll continue. If we do it like this, if any of the council goes to visit our leader and they have a discussion and our leader passes a message, why can't they just go with a little recorder to record the voice message? Or you, are not allowed, listen, just... you, are not, you are not You are not allowed to, to go there with any gadget. That is the that is the you know if you if you have been to the criminal investigation uh, uh, prison or anything like that you are not allowed to go to any uh, to go with anything the only thing you are allowed to go is with your paper and pen now the this is why I ask you why are you uh, you know exempting another one is that because the the the, the board council have their their role uh, a Jofo is a lead council while a Jimako is a special council to Mazenam the can. So you know the one thing that gets people really angry. One thing what? that gets people really angry. Ever since they brought our leader into the country, there has been no video of him. All we hear is he say. He said this, he said that the Nigerian government said this. The only opportunity that we would have had to see him was on the 26th. And before the 26th, the Fulani said something that 
they will keep him for three months they will keep him for three months and right before our faces what the fulani said has come to pass and they said they will keep him again for as long as they want to do it another three months or six months till they have the anambra election and so on why are we not trying to sit down look back and look at the the the, the storyline as it has been coming consistently this full and is eh? they don't hide their game plan they will tell it to us either directly or their proxies they will say it it's like a hearsay but whatever they have said will still come to pass accordingly so we need to start thinking how to cut these people and our problem is the majority of the Biafrans. I don't know. We don't work with one mind. Look at the Biafran land. All our pages, like that um, that idiot from Ogidi. How will he stage such a protest? And after several hours later, he says they never knew. They didn't consult him. Can you imagine that? That has been our problem. When they hear Ophelani has said it, they say it's a lie. It's not possible. But that thing that is not possible will always come to pass. That is why in the zoo, elephants can fly in the afternoon. That is the only country that has the natural magic to do the undoable. So we should start thinking of how to counter those things. Yes. The zoo is like yes. a virus. Hmm. So can I, can, and, I, can I make my point so you know where I'm coming from? Okay. Okay. My point, you see, my point, where I'm coming from is this. We have two attorneys. And uh, and uh, one is this lead council, one is a special council to Mazen and Bikana. Now, from my own background work, what I have done so far, I have come to suggest that we allow only one attorney to discuss the issue of Biafra and convey messages if there is message to be conveyed from the Biafra leadership to our leader. Only one. Do you understand? Exactly. <laughs> so that so that if something like this happen, we know where it is coming from. Do you understand? So now, uh, from what uh, has happened so far, uh, everybody is looking uh, at a, a, a Jofo as because he is the umbrella, like you said, you know. But a Jofo only conveyed message that was passed to him just like it has done in the past. And he has conveyed that message. Now, the question now is that what kind of message was passed to our leader to have come to that conclusion that we should suspend the seat at home? This is where everybody should be asking the question. And, uh, a, you know, a Jofo, which is, uh, which is also very, very uh, not happy with the situation, and you have seen the press release and all that, cannot go and convince our leader to stop, uh, to suspend the seat at home order. So I want people to understand where this whole thing is coming from. And, and so we don't blame people unnecessarily. Now, this mistake has been done, and there is nothing we can do. The Biafra people have also taken it upon themselves now, what we will be thinking about now is to stop the further, the future, or the kind of this kind of things from reoccurring. How do we stop it? How we can stop it is that the lead council they must come to a conclusion that if any other attorney is going to meet our leader, the, that person must not discuss anything about the struggle for Biafra. Let the person go there strictly as a legal person to discuss his, his the legal issues and the legal battle. And if our leader asks the person what is going on in the struggle, let it be pump and play to him that we have restricted anybody or the person from discussing anything about Biafra only from one channel. So that when the message comes, we will ask the person, what did you discuss with him? that made him to make this decision. We'll be able to know. But now we do not know what kind of discussion, what kind of information that was passed to our leader because our leader we know cannot stop what is working. 
That is what we, you understand? Exactly. Hey, exactly. You cannot stop what is working. I'm not, I'm not this kind of thing. Not this kind of sit at home. That is working. He cannot stop it. So who passed that information? What was information given to him? And what is the motive? You understand? So let us, to, just to make sure that this did not reoccur and this kind of thing did not happen again, we need to come to a conclusion that anybody who goes there must not discuss anything about the movement for the restoration of Biafra and about, about the IPOB movement. Only one attorney will be conveying messages and give message to him so that we will not have conflicting information. We will not have any kind of misconception about anything. And once that person comes, he tell us this is what is happening. That is what is happening. And we, if anything happens, we know who to hold the respons responsible. Now, exactly. we don't know who to hold responsible in this whole thing. We don't know. But we know that there are those we can say we trust so much and we know they can never betray Mazin and Nikano. Neither can they betray Biafra struggle. And what AJO4 did was to just pass the information to the DOS to the, to the DOS. And the DOS have to now follow the instruction given to them from the barrister. So nobody should blame these people who have who have come, not, not the DOS, not the barrister AJO4, and also uh, you know, but now we have to look for solution. The damage has been done. Let us look for solution. And this is what I have said now is one of the solutions to avoid the same thing reoccurring and happening again. Do you know that during the NSAS, our leader was active? Our leader launched, uh, did broadcasts regularly and he encouraged activities. So now, at this stage, how is the broadcast coming from the DOS? It's not proactive. A lot of things is okay. Let me just put that one aside. Let us look at um, our Dudua brothers and this guy. Uh, what's his name? Sunday Boho. Did you see how the Yorubas were able to counter or foil the attempt of DSS to kidnap Igbo from Kotonou? They worked hand in hand, closely together, and they countered it. Now, the situation of Igbo in Kotonou there, we, we really don't know. But I believe that they are doing a great job. Even I read the other time that our passenger went there to see him. What are our Eastern leaders doing? Instead, they are calling the, the planes to come and bomb us. Um, Abba, Abba Kiari is there going to, to, to parties in, the, in Igbo land wearing the same native attire like the Igbo people. And yet, we are there killing our people. There is something wrong that is not connecting. And by the time the Biafran people finally goes like an apocalypse, it will be a pity for the both DOS, both IPOB, both anybody, because this time around they will just be like zombies eating anything that they see. So if they don't, now we are trying to do damage control. If they don't do it, this autopilot is going to be a nuclear autopilot, whereby the mushroom will eat up a lot of things. And you know what a mushroom can do when they drop that bomb. That is how it's going to be in Biafra land. We need to be careful. A, a message cannot come from our leader without verification and just accept it hook, line, and sinker. Knowing the role that our leader played during the answers, knowing, knowing how active our leader has been, he has always said one thing, you don't change a winning team. I'm a sportsman. And that has been our modus operandi. You don't change what is working for you in sports until the opponent knows your tactics, then you, you re-strategize. So our leader has been like that. We did the first one on Monday. It worked out fine. Next thing you canceled it. Said, all that came from our leader. How about if we read the news? Now, um, I think it should be Daily Post or so from Nigeria. I saw it clearly. Or Hanese to IPOB. That the, this thing will be canceled. And truly it came to pass. They canceled it. So how do you want me to believe that it was our leader that gave the order? If someone had not gone there to lie to him, the motive behind him cancelling it is what we don't know. And that is yeah. why I will blame the DOS for it. That is my own opinion. I will blame the DOS. And the DOS must take responsibility. Because black people, they, black people like, like one thing. They don't want to take the blame. If they don't see anything to blame, they can blame the weather. Oh, today is raining. That, that was why I did not perform. Oh, the sun was too hot. That was why I did not perform. So the DOS must take this blame for it. That is the way I see it. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Icent. I know that uh, a lot of you are seriously very, very angry, and it is uh, allowed. It is allowed to be angry because that is why we are all uh, human beings, and uh, there is nothing anybody can do about it. Now, when you look at the screen, do you know why? Why I allow you to stay to continue to stay is because um, you've made uh, raise a lot of point. When you look at this uh, this uh, screen now, you will see somebody called Chris Smart. Chris Smart say, Mr. Man, what suggestion have you brought? Rather, you are here talking out of point. You see, now some people would think that you are talking out of point. Uh, rather, of course, they don't. Uh, maybe they don't understand the Sorry, point. Before, you, before you finish, uh, let me answer yeah. this, Chris Smart. <laughs> he, it's an apology that his name. He has Smart as his name. He should have been Chris Foolish because this guy is an idiot. I don't think he knows what is going on. That is why he can say this rubbish on air. He's a fool for saying that. Thank you. All right. All right. So uh, I, I think I can answer, answer him. So Chris Smart, uh, what he is trying to say and what he's bringing to the table is that the uh, the seats at home uh, should, shouldn't have been uh, cancelled and uh, that uh, the DOS and the, the leadership should take responsibility and look at what has happened today and review it. I think, um, is that what you are trying to say, right? That is what yeah. this is. What this, yeah. So, uh, of course, uh, anybody who is a lame person should even understand where you are coming from and why you are angry, the way you the way you sound, and it is allowed because you are a human being and a bona fide Biafra as that. So, thank you very much, Hazen, for uh, joining us uh, this afternoon. And uh, we are going to now bring videos from... Uh, uh, some of the places uh, in the south uh, east uh, Biafra, and uh, to see how people complied or how people uh, autopiloted the uh, the uh, sit at home order from uh, Biafra land. Thank you very much, Hassan, for being with Thank us. Thank you, Mr. Pa. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Let us see what. Moment. What is happening? I want you all to watch. the autopilot of the struggle what is happening look at it a, a lot of uh, issues and a lot of things that are going on i cannot most of the shops you see now looking at this way everywhere is i don't know I want to tell you categorically that um, in my house, my town, we have a lot of civil servants. I have bankers working in different banks, three banks in my compound. They woke up today. I asked them, aren't you guys going to work? Right, my people, good morning. I am back. I am standing right at um, Okaro, the Eva D0 in Onecha. This is a road connecting to 3-3 housing, connecting to main market, connecting to Ose. And this is a very busy road, as you all know. This is a road that we, we suffer for a uh, gridlock hold up on every second, both morning and night. And today, being Monday, in as much as the seat at home has been cancelled, I just want you to take a look at what is happening at this uh, main duty road, Okaro, today. What I was saying, now, look on your own, I want you to look at. This is the ever busy road, the Okaro. This is the ever busy road. Uh, morning, morning. Now, at this point in time, what you will be seeing is, uh, you know, motorists that are running up and down 
But as you can see, everywhere is scanty. I'll be taking a walk up to Salva to actually see what is actually happening. According to Simon F. Bandabi, the struggle has actually entered what is called autopilot. And uh, it is a confirmator. These, most of the streets are under lock and key. People are in their streets. As I speak to you now, the uh, main market is yet to be opened. Relief market is yet to be opened. Uh, most of the major markets are yet to be opened. Electrical, Electrical everywhere. Uh, is EEDC is not even their staff are not in the office. But when the road is shut down, let me just take a walk out to Savoy. I'm out of Savoy. Just be taking a look. But then, Let's be taking a look at the Ever PC road and people are just doing it on one one. Now my brother and my work on the road. No man who decide to sit at home on their own. Okay, man, I can so this sit at home. You can look. Here are how many seconds and minutes now before motor gas and you are here to see and you are here to see, you know, this is an ever busy road, you know, car road over now. On a normal norms, eh? Here are you are your before you cross in the mirror. On a normal norms, a car road, the busy to the point. Now I can't so the seat at home, but in the matter no no no. What are we going to call this? Like you say, Simon Edman mm. said it has got into what they call autopilot. autopilot. Mm. And then from the goings and what is happening at a point in time, we might not really be able to control the, the situation as it is now because if nothing is done if the federal government is looking to do the needful. And the state the government are not ready to comply with their citizens. At the point this time. The state government has no control of what is happening. If they had control of what is happening, they would have mandated people to be at their working places, irrespective of the color. And then um, the fact that um, the seat at home is no longer supposed to go. But this goes a long way to show that autopilot is being activated, activated gradually. Mm -hmm. And what we are seeing now is the first thing of the autopilot. Mm. From what I'm seeing at the point, we are getting to a stage. I don't want to be the one to predict it. <laughs> they say they say that uh, they say that we have entered the first stage, the first stage of autopilot. And they actually they are actually they are right. I'm gonna play the video. I'm gonna play the video to the end. I just get this video now from a, from a user in Facebook. And they are putting they are putting uh, the autopilot there as you can hear them. They say that if something is not done, it is going to escalate into something else. And that is what I have warned about. I have warned against this thing that is coming. Let me say it again. I said the struggle have entered autopilot, a very dangerous stage where we have no control over what happened. I said this thing a few weeks ago. Go and check it there. It is there. It is even in the Nigeria uh, news media, Vanguard, Daily Trust, all of them, they carried it. Go and check it. The struggle have entered autopilot where we have no control over what happened. And it is a very dangerous side. When the people begin to, this is just the first phase. Like you see these people saying, they say the autopilot, the first phase of the autopilot, it, you don't know what is coming. And it is better to step into the gap so that we will control the people and it will not escalate to something that will be very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. You know, and by the time we are able to control this, the Biafra will be loaded with another 10% bar. And thank you very much, Uchenna Abaiwe, for the uh, for your super chat. We appreciate you. Ghost Monday must continue because the onion do we know will never stop anything that works. Ada Ono Wu. Thank you very much, uh, Eyes, for your super chat. We appreciate you. Discipline, unity, and consistency are a major key to the survival of the struggle. 
Pastor Ejofo is doing a good job. We should all be focused on the strategies for the freedom of Onyendu and the restoration of Biafra. Exactly. Pastor Ejofo is, is doing a very wonderful job and have continued to do, has done it in the past, is going to do it again. All right, let us continue with the video so that you will understand what is going on. Autopilot. <laughs> People are getting more educated and people are getting more sensitized. People are getting more aware of what they are going through, of what needs to be done. If we are full, we know what the Yorubas have done. And at the point, we might do more than that. Mm. So what, just to add to what he just said, if you are familiar with this road, Oka Road, it's a major busy road that we all know. What is actually happening? Now, did uh, IPOB uh, Governing Council actually ask people to sit at home after counseling the sit at home order? No, they did not. They did not. And people the people on mind. their own terms and willingness, they decided to keep back because there is one thing they believe. And what is that thing they believe? They are not happy. They are not happy. They are not this, this is Okaro. You can see up from here to Boromi uh, roundabout. Something that cannot even happen on a normal uh, circumstance. The, the seat at home order has been lifted by the TOS. But yet, what is happening? What is happening? Look at it. A, a lot of uh, issues and a lot of things that are going on. I cannot, most of the shops you see now, looking at this way, everywhere is, I don't know. I want to tell you particularly that um, in my house, my town, we have a lot of civil servants. I have bankers working in different banks, three banks in my compound. They woke up today. I asked them, aren't you guys going to work? They said, no, they won't go to work. I said, why? They said, they want to sit at home. Mm -hmm. and this place is the major server junction. On a very good day, this junction is always a, a troublesome and a very problematic uh, junction in the sense of traffic, grid, and uh, I don't know. You can see how it is. The place is right. Fleet station is shut down. Nobody, no, none of the fleet station is open. Everywhere is shut on their own. Remember on Saturday that an information was passed to the POS that everyone should go to their various places of work, as in uh, today being Monday, 16th of August. But I'm here to actually understand exactly what is happening. Let me see, take it back. Looking at Savoy, my brothers. No, I don't believe it. 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 I don't believe I don't believe it. I I don't believe it. I don't I don't I uh, also following the event that is playing out as of today to actually to actually see what exactly the people have decided to embark on. The DOS has actually given an instruction that people should go to their various places of work, but the people refuse. And on a very good time, they said they were forcing people to sit at home. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I don't know. Let me come in. I actually interviewed one or two people, mm. not one or two, so many several people on different occasions. And from all indications, this one day sister group, I don't know how it's going to look at or look like. Because then, if the government refuses to do the needful, at the point, maybe in the next coming month, we might be having a nationwide sister group. Mm. What we have now is just, um, I think it's just in the southeast, thereabouts. But 
I think um, the solidarity the Igbos have now starting to show, there is going to be a nationwide sit at home. The Igbos believe that sitting at home now is becoming a part of them. That is a civil disobedience. Yes. Okay. Then, um, and they want to continue it, and they, they, they are trying to figure out a measure that will be more even tighter than this very Monday statue. Wow. So I urge the government, whatever government, whatever whatever that is happening, to hear, to look into the cry of the people, people. to avert the nationwide peace at home. You are welcome, Because of course we know what the nationwide peace at home we where the like. evil community will do in Lagos State. Mm. We know what it will do in Canada. We know what it will do in all business environments. Thank you. Well, you you can see, and uh, we are still taking notes on the situation of uh, Okaru. Look at this is um, uh, what I was gate. Everywhere is under lock and key. Mm, the outcome, the people who are actually applying the road, the people who are actually apply, applying the the ever busy road. It's less than 2.5% of the daily activities that we do record on this road. By this time, by this time on this road, on this road this very time Monday day. morning, uh, everywhere will be a kind of very busy to the point that you find it very, very difficult to cross the road. And all the traffic agents will be here, and yet they will not be able to that is, that is just the truth. So looking at the situation now, what are we going to call this? On me, I'm doing an independent, uh, uh, what is it called, research and uh, inquiry. And what I've, what I've been able to find out is that the government of today should not look down or take, uh, please, take for place the, the situation that we have at hand now. The people are fed up. How would you know if the people are fed up now? The IPOB as a governing council has actually lifted up the ghost town, but the town still remains on ghost mood. Well, uh, they have actually lifted up I, the ghost, I, I, I always the ghost to... town, but it, the town still remains ghost. Um, I always try to go your word and the word of Simon Abang. He said, um, autopilot, hmm. autopilot. Who is telling them to sit at home now? Nobody. So on their on their own, okay. they are sitting at home. Let us take a, a walk to that Burundi roundabout. On their own, they are actually doing what they ought to do as a people. We are actually looking at observing from where we are coming from to this place. You will agree with me that there is a voice, that the voice of the people has actually come to emerge. How did I mean by that? Everyone in Igbo land, everyone in, that believes in the, the, struggle. the struggle, are actually both those who are yet to be IPOP member and those who are IPOP member, though they are sympathizers, everybody has actually no, 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 accepted. No, 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 no. They have actually I accepted the. I have never been a, a fan of IPOP, mm. but I'm an Igbo man mm. to the core. Mm. I'm an Igbo man to the core. Mm. But then, when I look at what is happening, I see the marginalization. Mm. I see the way we have been treated. Mm. I see everything mm. from the COVID set. Mm. On the set of COVID mm. to this very point, mm. I know that um, refusing to align with the struggle mm. is making myself a failure mm. and a saboteur mm. to my personal self, oh. not to my people. How can I sabotage myself? How can I be sitting at home, mm. having nothing, whereas the whole people in the north are having a lot of things, mm. who are not even as qualified as I am, mm. who don't know anything? And when I look at all these things, I see that I have no reason, mm. no cause, mm. and reason why I shouldn't join the struggle. I'm not against anything that is happening illegally, but I'm for the truth. I am for the truth. Okay, my that the government people, wants right. the right thing Good morning. to do. Now, we, we are now approaching the ever busy Boromir roundabout, popularly known as Sikh roundabout.
we are going to be standing there to view from uh, that place, to, uh, to view up in way to see how busy it is today being Monday 16th of August. Uh, if you have, I will always remind you this if you have ever applied this route, you will know what I mean. Now, this is the junction that leads to Enugu Orca, the junction that leads to Enugu Orca uh, Okuzu. This is the express. We'll be looking at the one that leads to Opiweka to Asaba. The one that leads to Mpo and uh, Obosi. We are going to be checking out the activities, commercial activities that are actually taking place today. I want you to know that the leadership of IPOB has actually called off to this sit at home. That everybody should go to their various places of work. And I keep imagining and I keep asking, what is then keeping people at home? Why are they not ready to go to their places of work? In as much as the sit at home has been what? Lifted up. We still want to know. Few people are outside and many are home. With the inquiry we have, many of the markets in the land are, are yet to be open. Uh, we are at the Zeke roundabout right now. If it's ever it's this way, this way is a, is a way leading to Upy Way, as you can see. This one is the one leading to leading to Enugu Oka and Okuzu. We are going to be going this way. Let us take a look at what is actually happening. Now, if you are familiar with this junction, this is a junction that every second, every minute, this place will be so busy to the point that people will be finding it difficult to even cross with their vehicle. But now we can play ball here. We can do some things here. I am taking this report this morning. After some minutes, I got to go home and stay with my family. Because I think there is an, there is an uh, emergency holiday for us as a people. No, for me, it wasn't emergency. No, Yesterday, why I call it, why I, I call it. Colors, I knew mm. from the sound and reactions of people that nobody is willing to go to work. Mm. I knew. Like I told you, I have bankers who are receiving supplies that work is ongoing. But they decided to shut themselves down. Let's Nobody. This is video to tell you the review, the how the uh, commercial activities as of today, how everywhere is looking as far as on the is concerned. Um, let me just take a kind of a view of Zeke House so that people will actually understand where we are standing. It is undoubtedly what you are seeing now is something we can't give account on how things of this nature are actually playing out. Now, if the POS can cancel the seat at home, at the same time, the effectiveness is still, we are still recording this kind of. Um, uh, uh, what is it called? Let me call it solidarity. Solidarity, it will, it will, it will tell you the result of the people. Now, this we are at music uh, museum uh, and conference center. You can see, but I want to ask you, I think that this is not the policy. They have advisors. Now, this is where we are now. Is a uh, music. Uh, Mussolinium uh, 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 what is your and conference center. Uh, now we are this is if you are coming from Ame Barat, going to Opiweka, you can see how scantily it is. Each time you see very it takes about 60 to 2 uh, 120 seconds before we see very coming. But initially this is not how it used to be. Now we are going now. This is looking at the front. This is a road leading to Mpo. You know, Mpo Umoji Allah. And this as it is Mogidi, Oka, Abagana, Abate, Telugu. This is a road connecting them and to Onicha and going to Oka. These are people that come every day into Onicha for their commercial 
activities, businesses and all that, but you can see everywhere is scanty. Now I'm using this opportunity to call on all the political leaders, our Igwes, our Indiches, our whatsoever, whatsoever, our reverend fathers and the pastors, the monarch. I think it's time we take aside politics and sit down to reason with the people before, before it gets out of hand. From because this is the time now. Look at this place. You see that bridge, New Pass Bridge. You will agree with me that the new pass you can see how yours before we continue before we continue if you are watching if you are watching uh from youtube we are expecting you why allow the video to roll is for everybody to see what is going on i am going to if you listen to these uh, people making this video they are saying before it gets out of hand <laughs> getting that out of hand now is the dangerous part of the thing, uh, the pronouncement I made, which will definitely come, because you know we Biafrans, we know they agree until we see it, or until the rain begin to beat us, you know, we know they agree until we see rain before we begin to carry umbrella. So we know that they will not listen until something begins to happen. But I'm going to show you example. I'm going to show you example of the dangerous autopilot. In fact, the dangerous autopilot have even started already. Well, let me let me show you a sample of the of the dangerous autopilot. One moment. Let me show you the sample. Before we, before we come back to this video that I'm just showing you now, if you know you have not liked the page where the, uh, if you know you have not uh, liked this uh, broadcast, go or, and you are watching from uh, YouTube. For those watching from Enter Biafra, you don't need to do because we don't have that yet. But if you are watching from YouTube, we have only 900 likes there. And the idea of liking the video is so that you will tell other people you know, the feed, it will go and the ring bell on other people that this video is being watched by a lot of people, so they should come and watch it too. Go and like. We have 2,100 people watching at this point. So we have only 900 likes. If you don't like the video, also click I don't like the video so that it will also appear in the feed of people like you who will not like the video so that they will not also like it. So click I don't like this broadcast so that you will register your own I don't like it. And if you like the broadcast, you have to just, as we are talking now, before I bring what I'm about to show you, the next time, the next thing I'm about to show you, you are going to click the like so that it will now appear on the feed of other YouTube users, for those of you watching from YouTube. Now let us go there. Hit the like button and we are coming back after this break. When we come back after the break, we want to see at least 2,000 likes because we have 2,100 watching from YouTube. Before this break, we want to see 2,000 at least.
message the more you like it the more uh, the YouTube are uh, uh, suggesting it in their feed now I want to show you what I mean by dangerous autopilot some of you don't understand when I say dangerous autopilot I want you to to see what I mean by dangerous autopilot if this picture is coming from Biafra land, which I believe is coming from Biafra land. This is the sign of dangerous autopilot. Do you see the sign? Do you see the sign? Biafrans blocking the road. This wouldn't have happened if there was the order of sit at home. You will not see anybody blocking road. You will not see anybody blocking road. So this is the beginning of the dangerous autopilot I'm talking about. If this uh, particular uh, uh, sit-at-home order was order given, you will not see the Biafra people that have been possessed by the spirit of Biafra coming out to block road. You will not see it. And this is going to escalate this is going to escalate and it will be very dangerous. When we have no control over what happens, it becomes the dangerous autopilot. Now, let me also move, uh, uh, you know, from here. This is Biafra land. And it, you can see there are something being burnt. If you look at the uh, uh, that picture, you will find out there is a smoke. There is smoke coming out. I don't know whether the smoke is a, is a tire or that the smoke is just a, a waste that they are burning. You see? So when you look at that road, you find out that the road, the road uh, is blocked in that, uh, at that point where the smoke is coming from. You see? This is like mob. It is a dangerous, very dangerous uh, or autopilot uh, that we are into. And, uh, and uh, if uh, something is not done, uh, you are going to uh, see more escalation. Look at the Biafra land. Look at, the, look at the market. This is a market that generates millions to the state. Look at it. Look at how bad people cannot even walk here. Look at. They cannot even come to this market and tie the road. And this is a, a demonstration of a vote of no confidence on the governors and the leaders of the Biafra land, the Southeast, as you can see. So you see, they are burning, they are burning uh, uh, waste. And when you see, they have blocked the road. And when they block this road is that nobody will uh, ply this road. And this has become a very dangerous autopilot. And this is like the, those who are making the, their comment. They say, this is the phase one. This is the phase one of the autopilot. The phase one of the autopilot. Now you may understand, you may understand what I meant when I say we have entered the autopilot, a very dangerous autopilot. Now, if 
that is a seat at home order by IPOB, you will not see the people blocking the road. <laughs> you will not see the people. You will not. The last thing you will see is to see anybody blocking the road. So, and why is it now entering a dangerous phase? It is entering a dangerous phase because the Biafra people, they are going to enforce the sit at home by themselves. <laughs> you see? They are going to because, you know, people will rise up from the street and say, nobody is going to follow this road today. That is the danger there. But when this uh, sit at home order is coming from the indigenous people of Biafra, nobody, you can never see anybody coming to block road. Have you seen it in the past? I am asking you, have you seen anywhere in the past where people on their own, when order is given to sit at home, have you seen anywhere in the entire Biafra where people come to block road? You cannot, you cannot see that. You cannot see that. And do you know what this is going to do? You know what this is going to cause? Because the people who decided to go out will be going out because they have called off the sit at home order. So they are not committing any crime. They are not disobeying Biafra people. They are not disobeying order. But do you know what? They don't know that the Biafra people have activated the autopilot of the struggle. So by the time those who are going out now to have their normal businesses will be going out because the, the sit at home order have been called off. Now, this mob you see on this picture, the people you see on this picture who have decided to, to make sure that the autopilot and the spirit of Biafra is controlling whatever they are doing, they will come against those who are moving freely. And remember that those who are moving freely, they are not committing any crime. They are not disobeying the law. They are not disobeying the order because the order has been lifted and suspended. So they are not disobeying the order of the leaders of Biafra, the Biafra leaders. But because of the autopilot that the struggle have entered, these people that are blocking this road may even go to the extent of attacking the people. <laughs> I am telling you, they may go to the extent of attacking the people that are coming out. They may go to the extent of attacking the people that are using the road. And if something happened that they attack the people, like you see, let me let me bring the video, the, the picture again. Like you are looking at this picture. If something happened that somebody want to follow this road, maybe the person must have driven very far and want to pass here. And they say, you are not going to pass. Because that is, we, we are uh, enforcing the lockdown. They say, you are not going to pass. And the people will get angry. If they get angry and attack the people that are trying to pass through this road, and if something happened, maybe somebody died. My brother, it has entered a very dangerous stage. If a life is lost as a result of trying to enforce a sit-at-home order that has been lifted by the leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra, that is the danger that is to come. And if, if somebody is killed, believe me, you are going to see flame. The entire Biafra land will be on flame. You are, people don't know what you don't, you don't know how the revolution comes. You don't know how this, this is what we, we don't need to lose control of this. So anybody that knows what I'm doing should understand that it is a call for a serious concern. It is a call for serious concern because it has come to that particular phase where we have to apply the wisdom of God, where we have to pray to God to give us wisdom, especially those who are in the decision making to, for God to give them wisdom to manage the situation now. If you mismanage this situation, it is going to bring a very serious problem. Very, very serious problem. And I know, I know that for God 
to have revealed that there is autopilot activated in Biafra land. This same God will, as is the God, as God is speaking through me, uh, the people who are in positions to make decision, they are going to, they are going to come. God will also make them to come to a, a very good decision that will arrest the situation and we are going to take control of the situation again. Because if we lose control of this situation, it will be very disastrous. Very, very, very disastrous. <laughs> very disastrous. And let me tell you, and let me tell you, this is now, <laughs> this is now, this is now the time for us to call for the resignation of the Southeast governors because they have lost control over the people. And we cannot continue to shy away from the, from the fact. We cannot continue to shy away from the truth. We cannot continue to say, oh, um, you know, let us leave them. We have to let them understand that they have lost control. They're no longer, even as I'm talking to you today, government workers didn't go to work. <laughs> as I'm talking to you today, bankers did not go to work. So, do you understand what is happening? People in the government house, in various, they didn't go to work. I am telling you, if, and as you see this picture now, as you see this picture now, if any police come here, if any police, if any police now venture to go through this house, to go through this road, problem will start. You see, problem will start. So it must be managed and people must comply to this sit at home order that they have lifted and suspended. They must comply to it and, and pray that uh, the leadership, we, we are able or will be able to manage the spirit that have possessed everyone in Biafra. And Master Simon, now I know why our, uh, why our single handedly made you a man after his heart. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vito. Kiki, for your comment. And uh, somebody said that uh, our, somebody said that, um, one moment, one moment. Okay, somebody said that uh, uh, Akanolu Miscellaneous DOS is broadcasting against it at home now. Of course, uh, you know, uh, yes, that is the order that has been given. So they have to, you don't expect DOS to come and start supporting a sit at home order that have been uh, suspended. They have to do everything to see that people reason and see people and to control this uh, particular uh, escalation. And uh, we are expecting that between now and, uh, you know, immediately after today, uh, the next, uh, from this week, the, uh, the leadership of Biafra will be able to uh, assess, you know, uh, you know uh, do some assessment of what has transpired and what has happened today. And uh, like I said, the only thing we ask is prayer to pray to God, for God to give them wisdom to handle this and uh, very amicably and very, very uh, professionally so that it will not escalate to something else. All right, and then we are going to finish the video that we were watching. We are going to finish the video. One moment. seen everywhere.
No, I am seeing you pass. I said, I'm not seeing you pass. Everywhere, they go to this one leading to Po. They go to me hospital. Everywhere. This is not the way it used to be on a normal working day. Yeah, on a normal working day. What is happening? I thought the I thought the seat at home has actually be cancelled. I just decided to take to take a smart look on the on what the people are actually doing. So I'll be don't be I'm going to I'll, I'll act funny this morning. There's somebody I'm going to be interviewing, a madman. Don't worry, I'm going to interview a madman now. Then now, uh, can you just? Now let me just talk to you. How are you? No. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, you are winning sick now. Am I even better? That sit at home, I can IPOB. Am I can no more? They can. But we are very cool. Yeah. Yeah. For goodness. For goodness. In a cover na dia fra ya dia. Under goodness. Under goodness. No, I love you. But you, you are not one of them. I am 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 not one of a madman in Anambra State, a madman, confirmed madman, he said he has been hearing Mazinam the Kano. We don't know who he, this madman is discussing with that is telling him about Mazinam the Kano and that he don't know whether Mazinam the Kano is a spirit or human being. A madman! A madman is telling you, I have been hearing about Mazinam the Kano. I don't know whether Mazinam the Kano is a spirit or human being. Now, the question is, who is discussing with a madman? To tell a madman about Mazenam the Kano. A madman! Watch! Goodness, let's carry on for progress. For progress. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Who can destroy in the Igbo? You see? Do you know that the Igbos have been destroyed? By who? By those spirits. Wicked leaders. Who that we cannot tell. Are you trying to tell me that they will be destroyed as well? Nobody can destroy them. Destroy, nobody can destroy you. Nobody can destroy you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I just decided to catch crews on this walk. Now, I find on now, but remember, this is Enugu Park. Am I on Enugu Park? I am one of the most busy. One of the most busy. Now, I am standing at the middle of the road to take these shots. At the middle of the road, this one lead to new parks. This one lead to Mpo. This one lead to Opiwega. Now, on a normal day, there is no way, there is no way I can stand here to take a record of what is happening. For more than two seconds, For more than two seconds without being knocked down by a, a, a moving vehicle, it's not possible. It is not possible. So, this is road leading to Enugu, as you can see. Everywhere is county leading to Mpo. This one as well. Is one leading to main market, Omoba, and so on and so forth. Now we are keeping record. Let us move further again. It's quite, 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 quite clear. Clear on the stand of the people. You don't need to argue it. Arguing it is making yourself a stupid man. You don't need to argue. Mm. Arguing it will actually make you. A stupid man. Like if, you, if you are not hearing, you will be seen. And if you are not the type that sees, you can hear why people are talking. If you don't hear, you don't see, you can have a feeling of actually what is happening. These are three things you cannot deny you yourself as a human being. So now, I'll be taking a, a snap from here. A snap from here. Now look at this road. This Enugu, you can see new paths on your own. Today, there is no seat at home. IPOP leadership lifted up the, uh, the ghost town activities as of Saturday, Friday, Saturday. 
they ask they ask everybody to actually go on their business and but yet today people are sitting at home we are here to understand what is actually happening good morning chief you are welcome. Can we know your name, sir? Please, my name is uh, John Oko. We can talk the master plan. Okay, you are welcome. I want to ask you a question. Are you aware that today, that the ghost town, the seat at home order was lifted today? Yes, and that's And today being Monday sixteen. Yes. Now, you coming outside to see what is happening within the environment of our nature city and Anambra City. What will you say? Um, um, as you can see, uh, I will say that people are afraid. Though people don't know that the uh, they, they cancel the the sit at home. Mm. So, but though people might be thinking that the uh, sit at home is still uh, yeah, existing, uh, existing. You know that. and uh, people are maybe out of fear. Mm. People you say be, maybe, uh, not know that you are actually uh, sure. No, but me, for me, I was thinking that uh, today is still uh, sit at home. Mm. Not until I got the information that they have lifted up the sit at home. Sit at so home there is movement today. That is movement. I came to you. Can, but now, did you see any movement today? Uh, there is movement. Compared to what this road normally used to be, looking at the ever busy road of Oka Enugu, uh, uh, what will you say to? Is it the movement you're seeing today? Let me take a look at it and talk to you. Is it up to one percent no, no, of, no, no. of our daily no, activity? No, no, no. This place is normally be always busy. Mm. The road is always busy. For always busy. Today, yes. And but yet we are seeing the road being empty. Yes. Being empty. Yeah, in as a result of solidarity of the people or as a result of the people don't want to go to work or as a result of i don't know what do you think right do you think there is disagreement let me put it that way disagreement between the egos are they having disagreement or they are to, they are together they are this together this togetherness yes. so what you are seeing now is a result of togetherness yes of phobia that is solidarity, that is solidarity. Yes. okay now everybody need enjoy a god bless you god bless you look at it look at it look at it this is enugu on its express road you can count by yourself Uh, somebody is saying I should go and view Men Market. Men Market is locked because my my wife worked there. My wife is a banker. He works with one of the bank in the Men Market. She's at home because um, their, look, their manager actually has taken a, a photograph and a record on the activities of Men Market as it is, as I talk to you now. Everywhere is under lock. There is no market in Anambra that is open. Go and verify from uh, anybody. Wife works in the bank, and she works precisely at the metal mm. As you can, from all indication, nothing is happening there. Mm. The metal floor is in the market. Yeah. Nothing is happening there. You can't even get a car or whatever to take you there. That's one of that's where the egos are highly united more than ever. Look at we. Market. I will find myself to that main market. Okay. Once we get to what is it called? Once we get to once we get to Salva, uh, what is it called? Zeke roundabout again by this thing, man. Yeah. I'll be dropping this video. I will take Kakena Pepper down to main market. So let us take a two minutes view of what, of what is happening there. I'm going to be doing that. So for a very short period, my brother, I will be going off live. This is Otoroka. Everywhere is locked. Everywhere is locked. I'm a paper and I'm on solidarity. On solidarity. On solidarity. The busiest bus stop. Anyway, more condemnation. Enugu. In a sioka. Abaga. Abaga. Let me drop for their passenger. As you can see, everywhere the locked. Nah, yeah. This is the most popular, one of the most popular police stations, Sima. The, the truth is, is awesome. What will I say? I can't say more, but the truth is, is awesome. The egos are the egos, the 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 are sneaking now. Who is actually controlling uh, the who the affairs of the people? Ultra pilot. Who is actually piloting the affairs of Indigo? Their fears, their anger, the the the, the pain. I'll be taking some piloting their. I'll be taking some interview at the main market there. Yeah?
Let me just do that. I'll do that right away. Let's take uh, So see you guys. Uh, you're going to give me about 10 to 12 minutes to get to the main market. I'll, I will, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I will be right back. Now, before I cut this video, look at this way going to operator. Did you see how clean the road is? Very clean road. Did you see how clean the road is? That is wonderful. All right, all right, all right, all right. You have all followed it. We are going to go off now and then we come back again in the evening for the evening uh, broker. Somebody say, um, somebody said the Radio Biafra, Simon, Radio Biafra is off. Don't allow them to give you a fake information. Thank you very much for, the, uh, for that uh, particular update. Uh, the Radio Biafra is off. So the person who said that the DOS is online is actually giving fake information. We understand hey, no, happening. We understand that it's a fake information. And uh, so we're not listening to that. All right. Uh, and then uh, uh, this is getting interesting. It is getting interesting because it is an autopilot. And uh, in the evening, We'll be coming to give you update from all over Biafra land where this thing have taken place. And uh, so share this video. I've spent about three hours on this this morning. Even me, I'm observing sit at home. As you can see, I am home. <laughs> I am home. So, and I didn't know when I stay home and I need to go to work today. <laughs> so, so thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. May God bless Biafra. May God bless Oduduwa. May God bless uh, Middle Belt and may God bless the Amazonian people. May God bless all of you. May God bless ESN. May God bless RPOB worldwide. May God bless Mazen Amdikano. May God bless ESN. May God bless you, agitators, and everyone sharing and watching this video for the past three hours. We have, have about 5,500 viewers, 2,300 from YouTube, 2,200 from uh, Enter Biafra, and then from other channels as well. So, Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share the video and see you in the evening. Don't miss our evening broadcast. It is going to be explosive. In the evening, we continue from where we stopped yesterday. We will continue to give you the reason and point by point why the governors have to resign and the vote of no confidence has been passed to the governors of the Southeast. Thank you very much and remain blessed.